Overnight, the video evidence which was shown to the jury has been leaked online. This video evidence undermines John Borton's story about how terrified she was and will cause a problem for the prosecution's case. We're going to show you three of the clips, all taken from inside the car on John Borton's mobile, and discuss exactly what happens in them. In this first clip we're going to show you, far from a terrified atmosphere, it shows John Borton being quite relaxed reading the Irish Times. A discussion also takes place as to whether they should contact Paul, a media officer for the party, about putting up a post on Facebook referring to the children roaming free at the protest. Well, what you um, should do now is go, uh, don't, well, don't really talk to Paul first, but you should just go on social media and say, it was just shameful, all the little kids who were there, and uh, nobody minding them, nobody looking after them, they were just free to roam the streets. I leave it up to you to decide whether that shows a terrified John Borton or a quite relaxed atmosphere. In the second clip we're going to show you now, you can hear Karen O'Connell, John Borton's assistant, refer to the protesters and the people of Jobstown as fucking dregs. She also says that this always happens at the end of protests, showing that what was taking place was nothing unusual. In her evidence, Joan Borton said that there was no political chance, or at least that she couldn't hear them. In this clip we're going to show you now, you see them refer to one of the chants about breakfast clubs, and also refer to a woman in a grey jumper who they'd heard speak before, and who you can hear from inside the car make a chant which is quite political. We didn't. The woman with the grey jumper. I know her voice by now. The Jobstown Not Guilty campaign has called for a protest next Saturday the 6th of May at 2pm in Talla. For further details click on the link below or check out the Jobstown Not Guilty Facebook page. It's important that we keep up our social media presence until Tuesday when John Borton is back in court by keeping the hashtag Jobstown Not Guilty trending.